Oi! Peso, you take care of the slimy creatures with this net. Got it. And I'll take care of the creatures hidden in the rocks. Remember, Octonauts, leave no sea creature behind. Yow! Ready. Ahoy there, urchin. Let's get you to safety. Oh, thanks. Aha! There's a slimy one. And it looks like it could use my help. Don't worry. I'm here to help you. Wow! This is cool! Help! We're all stuck to this rock like, well, clams stuck to a rock! Don't worry. If you clams can't get off this rock, then I'll get this rock off the volcano. Ah, another slimy creature that might need our help. Excuse me, but... Shh! Uh, there's a volcano. Quiet. Mm. Mm. Delicious. I'm a blobfish, and blobfish don't go after food. We wait for it to come to us. I've been watching and waiting for lunch for hours now, and I didn't want to miss it. Oh, I'm Peso, and... I'm Bob. Bob the blobfish. But you could call me Bob. Bob, I usually wouldn't interrupt your lunch, but this volcano is going to erupt. Didn't you feel it rumbling? Oh, I did feel some rumbling, but I thought it was just me tummy. <laughs> I'm afraid I need to get you out right away for your own safety. Well, I can't leave without my brothers, Bob and Bob. We're the three blobs named Bob. <laughs> Bob lives way over that way. Hey there! And Bob, he lives way over this way. Hiya! We're the three bob -cateers. Bob for all and all for Bob. Peso, we need your help. Someone's hurt down here. Oh, no! Don't worry about Bob, Bob and me. OK. But please hurry. No problem. Oh, <laughs> I mean problem. <laughs> Tentacle, it hurts. I help any creature who is sick or hurt. Let's get this off first. <laughs> Octonauts, our mission is to lead the belugas back to open water where there's no ice. But we need something that can cut a path through the ice so that they can breathe along the way. Yeah, what about the sonic slicers? They're too slow. We need to act fast before the beluga's Whoa. breathing hole freezes over. I think I have just the thing, Cap. OK, Tweak, let's see if your icebreaker attachment works. isn't breaking. Pack ice is really thick. It takes a lot to break it. Just get those belugas to follow me. Belugas, this path will lead you to open waters. Have to stay near the hole where it's safe and quiet. Belugas, please follow me before the ice freezes over. Oh, no. oh dear, this is not good at all. Hmm, the belugas don't seem to want to leave their breathing hole. <laughs> Back up, 
If only they would follow Captain Barnacles. <gasps> I've got it! Fish biscuits! Huh? What's your plan, Quasi? Well, I reckon these belugas must be getting pretty hungry by now. So I brought them a little fish biscuit snack, courtesy of tunic. Stay by the hole where it's safe. Why aren't they following me? Belugas, like all whales, are scared of loud, strange noises. Peso! Peso, where are you? You who, Peso? Peso, you in here? Huh? Where'd the gup go? <sighs> Better check the gup finder. Oh no! Cap, Peso must be in the guppy, and it's trapped way down deep in an ocean trench. Peso, come in. Hello? Hello, Peso. His radio isn't working. Guppy's battery must have run out. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, there's no time to waste. We've got to rescue Peso. Quasi, tweak into the Gup Sea. Uh, who, who are you? Boo! Ah! You scared me. I'm sorry, you asked who I am. Yes, I did. So, who are you? Boo! Uh, will you please stop doing that? Stop what? Scaring me. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm sorry. Well, OK. So, what's your name? Boo! <laughs> Boo! Boo! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> My name is Boo. I'm a spookfish. A what? A spookfish. Everyone thinks we're all spooky and stuff because we have these clear see-through heads and because we can do this with our eyes. <laughs> See? Wow, that is spooky, Boo. <laughs> Told ya! According to the Gup Finder, the Gup E stuck right around here, inside that trench. Cap, our Gup won't fit in there. She's right. Tweak, you wait here. We may need that tow line. Quasi and I are going in. <laughs> Want to play a game? Now? Oh, why not? It's called I Spy With My Little Eye. One of us looks around and says the first letter of what we see and the other one has to guess what it is. It is kind of dark down here, but OK. I Spy With My Little Eye. Something beginning with P. Is it a penguin? No. Plankton? No. Uh, oh, I give up. What is it? A polar bear! Oh, OK, my turn. I spy with my little... A polar bear? That polar bear is Captain Barnacles and Quasi. They've come to rescue me. Peso, are you OK? They're clogging the intakes, Captain. Right, we need to get back to the octopod and make a new plan. Activate helmets, everybody. Prepare to eject. We'll have to swim back to the octopod. Yeah! Watch out for the tentacles! Go! Oh, no, you don't. Ouch! It's a jellyfish sting, all right. How does it feel? It stings. Don't worry, Captain. I know just the thing for it. 
Thanks, Tunip. I knew you'd have some in the kitchen. This is the best emergency treatment there is for a jellyfish sting. It smells like vinegar. It is vinegar. It should help with the stinging. Ow. How does your paw feel now? It feels better. Ugh, it smells worse. Thanks, Peso. Now, I've got to get back out there and rescue Shellington. Ow. Oh, ow. Captain, you need to stay right here and rest until your paw is completely healed. Don't worry, Captain. We'll rescue Shellington. We? But we'll have to suit up first. Come on, Peso. Are you sure this is a good idea? Relax, Peso. Our deep sea suits will protect us from their stinks. We'll find Shellington, give him this extra suit, and then we'll all go home sting free. See? I didn't feel a thing. Peso, how's it going out there? Uh, a bit rockier than we'd expected. We can't see a thing out here. Don't worry. Dashy will help guide you to Shellington. Just keep going forward until you get to the sandy sea floor. Thanks, Dashy. How are you holding up out there, Shellington? Uh, well, it is starting to get a bit stuffy in here, and I'm all out of kelp cakes. Sit tight, Shellington. Quasi and Peso are on their way. It feels like we've been walking for hours. Keep going, guys. You're almost there. But we still don't see anything except jellyfish. Shellington should be down on the sandy sea floor, right at the bottom of this rocky Whoa. cliff. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, guys. <laughs> The sandy sea floor. Shellington must be close by. He could be right in front of our faces, and we wouldn't be able to see him. Huh? Now, don't go wandering off, Peso. I may never find you again. It's one of Shellington's garden eels. We must be really close. There's another one. There. <laughs> Fascinating. The garden eels are even faster than you are, Quasi. Shellington! Barnacles to the octopod. We're all okay, but the cup hay has, um, well, crashed. But how will you keep going? There's no reason we can't swim after him, Captain. Good idea. Let's go. Barnacles out. Now, where be those eels? There they are. They really are good climbers. Let's find out what's on the other side of those rocks. Jumping jellyfish! The eels are getting out of the water and travelling on land. Let's investigate. Look at them wriggle right over the mud and dirt. That's fascinating. Eels can breathe air for a short time, so they can leave the water and go over land if they have to. Nothing stops them on their way up the river. Nothing! Uh, ooh. Help! Huh? Help! Did somebody say something? Help! Where are you? Down here! Hello there. Are you stuck? Yes, and I really need to get out. Hmm. Can you grab onto this, matey? Yes, go on. Pull me up and please hurry. <sighs> Did you fall into that hole, little eel? Yes, yes I did. If there's a hole in the ground, I'll be the one eel who falls into it. So, thanks very much for getting me out, but I really have to be on my way. Uh, oh, ow, ouch! Oh, my tail hurt. <laughs> I can't move. Don't worry. Don't worry? My friends are getting farther and farther away, and now my tail's hurt. I can't even wiggle. I'll never catch up to my friends like this. We can help you. Really? Of course. We are the Octonauts. What seems to be the trouble? It's me tail. It hurts so much I can't move. <sighs> you need a bandage. <laughs> that was fast. It feels better already. Thanks. You're welcome. And now I've really got to get going. 
You need to rest for a while. Oh, I can't rest. Must keep moving. Gotta catch up to me friends. Captain, he's not strong enough to make a long swim up the river. I'm afraid he'll never make it to the lake on his own. We'll make sure he's not left behind. Oh, I may need a little help get him back in the water. We'll give you more than a little help. Aye, we'll take you all the way to the lake. Oh, thanks. It won't be easy, but we'll swim up the river just like the eels and make sure our friend gets to the lake safe and sound. Aye, aye. Ready, Captain. let's go. Oh, and one more thing. We'll need the smallest life belt we've got. Oh, he got it all right. Dashi, get me close. Closer. I've got you! I've got you! Jelly! Stop! That's my friend! Quasi cat! Catfish! No, not a catfish! He's a. Oh, never mind! Quasi, are you okay? Just give me whiskers a moment to stop shivering! I've got him, Captain! Oh no! They're being swept away by that current of fast water. This is getting serious. Let's sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the gulps. Octonauts, Peso is stuck inside a comb jelly, and the comb jelly is stuck inside a fast moving current. Oh my! Oh no! <gasps> Peso, can you hear me? Peso! It's no good, Captain. I'm just getting steady. Tweak, you stand by. We may need your help. Got it, Cap. And we'll follow that current. Please, let me go. Jelly, go, go! <laughs> <laughs> Jelly, will you stop tickling me? We're trapped in a current and... We're going to crash! Going to splash! <laughs> I'm free! Ooh, where am I? I hope Jelly's okay. Hello, Octonauts. Can you hear me? Hello? I must be too far away for them to hear me. Right. I'm lost. What would Captain Barnacles do? <laughs> hmm. I think this way is north. And if that's north, then this must be shark. Shark! least for now. Sorry, Captain, but there's no way of knowing which way the jelly went. Hmm. We may need to bring in more gups to track Peso down, but by the time they get here, Peso could be even further away. Captain, I have another idea. Oh, Peso, me poor little penguin pal. Don't worry. I'll hunt that see-through scallywag across the seven seas and back again if I have to. Quasi. Even if it takes months. Quasi. Even if it takes years. Even if it takes... A Quasi. It's not working all right. Not beeping or whirring or nothing. And here's why. Three holes in the rubber cable. Just like the holes in the gup. Three more holes here. And here. Hmm. Who's biting our equipment? <sighs> Captain, Quasi, I found another set of teeth. Where? Yeah. They were here just a second ago. Look. It's gone. There's nothing around but those skinny little fish. It's like someone's playing tricks on us and then disappearing. Who would do that? I know, but I wish I didn't. It is 
is none other than the Tri-Toothed Terror. The Who-Toothed Water? The Tri-Toothed Terror, a giant sea monster with three huge, sharp teeth. He sneaks up on pirate ships, fights them with his enormous teeth, <laughs> then disappears into thin air. You think the Tri-Toothed Terror could be around here, following us? Hmm, I don't think we're dealing with the Tri-Toothed Terror. Well, if it isn't the Tri-Toothed Terror that made these holes, then what was it, I ask ye? <laughs> Where's that coming from? <laughs> it's a blue whale. Maybe he's seen something that could help us work this out. <laughs> Excuse me, but... <laughs> What's so funny? It's me eye patch, Crooked. <laughs> Something's tickling my blubber, but I can't tell what. I wish it would stop now. <laughs> Can you help me? It's down by my tail. <laughs> ah, we've seen these marks before. Oh, it's under my chin now. <sighs> that scurvy tried to terror must be nearby, but where? Ooh, I've, I've got to get out of here. Hold on to me. <laughs> Whoa, that was a wild ride. I wish I knew who was tickling me. I think the creature who gave you the giggles is the same one that's been giving us trouble. It left more of them tiny round marks in your blubber. Don't worry, Blue Whale. The Octonauts will find the troublemaker and stop him. Ah, nope, too big. Too small, too thin. Nope, nope, nope. Wait a minute. There, that's it. Captain, I know whose teeth these are. Great work, Shellington. They're called cookie cutter sharks. They dig their teeth into a whale's blubber and leave round holes, the way a cookie cutter leaves a shape in dough or pastry. So that's why they went after the blue whale. They wanted a bite of his blubber. Great, you don't seem hurt, but I'm still going to check you over as soon as I can get in there. That's where I come in. Thanks, everybody. But where are my manners? Octonauts, meet my new friend, Dina. Dina, Octonauts. Hi, everybody. Sorry if I caused any trouble. Nonsense. The Octonauts are always happy to help. Quasi, which way was the sardine school heading? They went that away, but they could be anywhere by now. Barnacles to Shellington. We've lost track of the sardines. Is there anything that could help us find them again? Yes, Captain. I believe we can find the sardines by listening for their burping sound. Sardines burp? Actually, yes. Sardines and many other fish swallow air to help them stay afloat. But when they want to sink lower, they burp the air out again. Captain, you should be able to pick up the burping sound on the Gup's underwater microphone. Now, just listen and be very quiet. I don't suppose the sardines are taking a nap? No, that's just an elephant seal snoring. What's that, Shillington? That's just a crab clicking its claws. <coughs> ah, burping. Dashy, can you tell us where it's coming from? I'm on it, Captain. Straight ahead, near a coral reef. Then that's where we're heading. Barnacles out. Dina, we may have found your school. That's good news. Best be on your way, Dina. But I don't want to leave you here, Quasi. I'll be fine. I'm with my school, remember? And you need to be with yours. Go on now. Thanks, Quasi, for all your help. Anytime. Stay safe out there. Just follow me, Dina. <laughs> The burping is getting louder. We must be getting close. Don't tell me seahorses burp too, Shellington. Uh, actually, lots of fish do, Captain. We must have picked up seahorse burps instead of sardine burps. What if my school is so far away we never find them? 
Captain, the burps you hear now are coming from somewhere above you. This could be your school, Dina. Let's go. You must be very close now. My school! I can feel them with the scales on my skin. There they are! Whoops! Almost forgot to say thank you. And please thank Quasi for me. Don't mention it, Dina. Helping sea creatures is what we do. Bye, Dina. I'll let Quasi know you're all right. There you go, Quaz. was a tail. Hmm. Let's just think this through. What do we know about them? Well, there must have been a few of them, because we saw a lot of footprints. Aye, ah, and don't forget all that slimy salt on the floor. Hmm. And the long, scaly tail. Just like the iguanas in Dash's pictures. Well, but they can't be iguanas. Iguanas don't swim in the ocean, do they? Wait a minute! Iguanas? Galapagos Islands? Missing seaweed? Of course! Marine iguanas! Marine iguanas? Yes. Marine iguanas are a special kind of iguana who only live in the Galapagos Islands. They're also the only kind of iguanas who can swim and their favourite food is seaweed. But what about the salt? The seaweed they eat is very salty, so they sneeze out the extra salt. <laughs> Good job, Shellington. At least now we know who we're after. And there they be! Let's get those marine iguanas and find out what they've done with our seaweed. Octonauts, hold on! Yikes! Some blue thingy came out of the big orange thingy and now it's coming after us. we got to get out of here fast! Yeah. <laughs> it's getting close up. <laughs> Trying to lose us in the seaweed. Hang on, we're going in. This way, the seaweed's thicker over here. How do I fix it? Our ship, the Octopod, has a sick bay. I could put some medicine on your nose there, bandage it up, and make it as good as new. Dude, you're the best. Let's go. Right this way. Don't worry, Lemmy. Once your nose is all better, you won't bump into things anymore. <coughs> Thanks. OK, Lemmy. First, you need a little medicine on your nose. <laughs> that tickles. Second, you need a bandage. Whoa, thanks. So, is that it? Can I go home now? You need to wait a little while for your nose to heal. If you go right now, you'll still get lost and bump into things. Oh, okay. But 
Do I have to wait in here? I like it better outside. Only if you stay right outside the octopod. I'll hang out right here. And I'll be back to check on you later. Cool! Captain, I've bandaged up Lemmy's nose. As soon as it's better, he'll be able to find his way around again. Good work, Peso. Now, show me how you bandage your nose. Oh, I'm bored. There's not much to do out here. Wouldn't hurt just to leave for a minute, and then I'll totally come right back. <laughs> hmm. I think I'll check on Lemmy. Oh, no. Where did he go? He's swimming away in a crazy zigzag pattern, really fast. Flappity flippers. He can't tell where he's going. Captain, he could get hurt. Peso, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, there's a young lemon shark out there whose nose isn't working. He could get lost or hurt if we don't catch up with him right away. Peso, Quasi, into the guppe. Right here. Aye, aye, Cap. Ah, there he is. This is a fast one, that's for sure. He's heading that way. Watch out! Uh-oh, we're heading straight for an iceberg. Flappity flippers. Abandon ship, Peso. Where did the guppy go? Look! Oh no. Don't worry, we just need to climb to the top and break the gup out of the iceberg. Climb to the top? Yes, we can do it. We're a team. Huh. Come on. Yes, we did. Now, the trick will be how to dig our gup out of this ice. Oh, all this moving ice is making me dizzy. I can't tell which way I'm going. Captain, come in, Captain. We've lost radio contact with the gup E, Quasi, but they should be around there. Keep looking. Oh, I've searched everywhere for them, but all I've found down here is ice, ice and more ice. What was that? It sounded like the captain's accordion music. Shiver me whiskers. It's not Captain Barnacles at all. It's the orcas. Maybe they can help. Hey, look! Quasi! I heard your orca songs. I thought it was Captain Barnacles. Captain Barnacles? We just left him and Peso a little while ago. Aye, but they never made it home. The Gup E crashed, and now they're lost somewhere in the ice. Oh, no, 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 dear. Don't worry, Quasi. We orcas will help you find them. Huh? huh? Oh no, the ice is breaking in two. 
Peso, jump! Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. <sighs> uh, hang on! Uh. Whoa. We've got to stay with the gun. Jump again! Uh. <laughs> Huh, this one looks very healthy. I'll put it with the other red ones. Ah! Jumping jellyfish! <laughs> Tag, you're it! <laughs> oh my! There you go, Peso. Thanks, Tweak. Steady, steady. What you do? Lappity flippers! <laughs> You want to play catch? That's one of our favourite games. Here, catch. Whoa, careful with that. Sorry, dolphins, but we've got work to do. Maybe some other time. Oh, there's got to be someone who wants to play with us. Come on. We've been working for hours and we still have so much more to do. At the speed we're going, it could take days to finish. And these dolphins aren't making things any easier. <laughs> Barnacles to Shellington. These dolphins won't leave us alone. Why are they acting like this? It's normal dolphin behavior, Captain. Dolphins are curious creatures. They What's this? They love to play with each other and make up new games. Hey, everybody, check this out. <laughs> I've got a sponge on my nose. <laughs> sponge nose, sponge nose. Sponge nose, sponge nose. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is starting to get out of hand. Attention, dolphins! We have very important work to do. If you could please just play! <laughs> Bet you can't catch me! Oh, enough is enough. Oh. Whoa. Um, easy now! I just want to... Um... See how long you can hold on! Look out! Whale shark straight ahead! Nice catch! Thanks. Are you okay? Yep. Thanks for the warning back there. So, what should we play now? Sorry, but playtime is over. We octonauts are trying to save the coral reef. I need to get back there. We just head back to the octagon and then... Whoa! Something's upset them. <gasps> what was that? That's it. That's the thunk I thunk I heard when I saw the spider run. I think. Activate microphone, Peso. Let's listen and see if we can figure out where that sound is coming from. Captain, it's coming from over there. We're getting closer. Closer. Whatever it is, Captain, it should be right here. Hello out there. We mean you no harm. We are the Octonauts. And one of us doesn't like spiders. Who are you? And why are you grabbing our gut? Oh, I'm sorry. I wanted to say hello. I am a spider. I knew it. I knew it was a spider. Amanda Kibbutz with your lives. Crab. Huh? Excuse me. You're a what? A spider crab. A giant spider crab, to be exact. Of course. A giant spider crab. I should have known. So you're not 
a scary spider? Eh? Oh no, I just look like one. I'm really a crab. <sighs> the largest crab in the entire ocean with many, many legs. Fascinating. Yes, I have eight legs and two pincer arms. Pincer arms? They help me to move around and grab things to eat. Ouch! What's wrong, Mr. Giant Spider Crab? Oh, there's something stuck to one of my legs. Oh, Ouch! No. It's a giant clam. Oh, it's very heavy. And noisy. So that's what that scary thunk, thunk, thunk noise was. It looks painful. We're coming out right now to help you. Right, Quasi? Right, Captain. This clam is shut tight. I've seen this before. When clams get stepped on, they close up to protect themselves. It's nearly impossible to pry them open. Huh. This could take a while. Um, why do these things always happen when I'm in a hurry? What's the rush? I'm trying to get to a birthday party. Whose birthday is it? Mine! My children and grandchildren are having a great big party for me. I'm a hundred years old today. Doesn't that sound great? Well, pirates usually have parrots as sidekicks, not parrot fish. Well, I've got a beak like a parrot, but I'm even better than a parrot. Look, I can change me colours. Wow. Yeah, parrots can't do that. That's true. And parrots won't clean the algae off your windscreen either. That certainly was a big help. All right then, but we're in a hurry to find some treasure, matey, so you'll have to keep up. Whoa, my first day is a trusty pirate sidekick, and I get to search for treasure. <laughs> Let's go, parrotfish Pete. What do you think these pointy things are? I wish I knew. I'll swim ahead and find out for you, mateys. Ahoy, mateys! Arrgh! This reef be full of sharp, jagged edges and narrow passageways. I think your ship is too big to fit through it. But according to the map, we have to go through it to find the treasure. Then we'll leave the gup here and swim the rest of the way. I wonder what these squiggly lines are. Are we going in there? What's that? And that! And that! Now we know what those squiggly lines on the map are. Eels! Aye! Moray eels! These waters are full of them, matey! And look at their sharp teeth. Ah! Oh, but we have to get past them to find the treasure! How are we going to do that? I can get us past them, me hearties. How? Moray eels like to eat parrotfish, but we have a way of protecting ourselves from them. Ah! First, I cover myself in a bubble. Ah! The eels can't see very well, and this bubble makes it so they can't smell me either. Which means they leave you alone. Very clever. That might be fine for you, but we can't make bubbles, me hearty. Oh, I'll make them for you. Octonauts, let's do this. <gasps> oh, no. The eels can smell peso. Peso! This way. Quick, in there. Quasi, bubble block. It worked. They can't smell peso anymore. Yeah. Hmm. But none of my old books mention a shark as small as the one you saw, peso. See? 
Your eyes must have been playing tricks on you. I know what I saw. It was a teeny tiny little shark. And if he was swept downwards, we'll have to look for him in deeper, darker waters. Come on, we've got a tiny shark to find. Barnacle's out. Yeah. How are we supposed to find anything down here in the dark? Peso said the little shark glows, so let's shut off our lights so we can see if anything's glowing out there. Shiver me whiskers! It looks like outer space. Each of those lights is a different sea creature. One of them must be the little shark. If he was swept down this way, he probably didn't get far. We'll have to split up. But be careful, it's so dark down here that it's easy to get lost. Deep sea suits on, everyone. Aye, 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 Captain. Aye, Captain. Uh, excuse me, are you... Oh, you're not a tiny shark at all. You're an anglerfish. <laughs> you got that right, pal? Ah, oh, these are no sharks, that's for sure. Just a glowing jellyfish. Oh, that one's really bright. Nope, hatchet fish. Where are you, little shark? Where am I? Peso to Captain Barnacles. I seem to have got separated from the group. Where are you? Can anybody hear me? Oh no, my radio isn't working. I must be too far away from the others. Oh, is that the lantern shark? No, it's much bigger and brighter, and it's coming right at me. Yikes! Ahoy, Peso. Quasi. Why are you swimming upside down? I'm not upside down. You're upside down. You got that wrong, pal. Huh? Ah. <sighs> Come on, Peso. We need to go find the other octonauts. But we haven't found the tiny shark yet. Peso, I've chased after lots of strange creatures, and the truth is, sometimes you find them, and sometimes you don't. But this one needs our help. Well, if we don't find Captain Barnacles and the others, we're going to need help too. Righto. Let's stick together. I'll look for the shark, while you look for the octonauts. Shellington. Have you seen Peso or Quasi? <laughs> Octonauts? Octonauts, who sounded the octo alert? Um, Shellington, do you know what he's saying? Yes, Captain. He says that your octo compass flew out of the octo hatch and they don't know where it is. I think. And they're really sorry. Don't worry, Vegemals, we'll find it. Dashy, activate the octo compass finder. I'm on it, Captain. There it is! <laughs> it's floating into the cove! Look! It stopped moving. All we have to do now is go into the cove here and get it. Easy. Super! Super! Or maybe not so easy, Captain. This cove is known to pirates everywhere as Creepy Cove. Creepy Cove? What's so creepy about it? It's the home of a creepy monster with creepy powers. And what might those powers be, Quasi? The monster of Creepy Cove can change colours like magic. It can make itself grow as big as three whales. And finally, it can make perfect copies of itself. <laughs> Until you're surrounded by monsters. I've always wanted to explore Creepy Cove and see that monster in action for myself, matey. <laughs> I'm not sure there's really a monster living in this cove. 
creepy cove, Captain. But we do need to get my octocompass back. So, Quasi, Peso, into the gup. We're heading for... Creepy Cove? Um, yes. <laughs> Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Captain. According to the map, the octo compass should be somewhere near the entrance to the cove. So we won't have to go very far inside Creepy Cove to find it. Unless the monster of Creepy Cove finds it before we do and takes it for himself. Here we go. The entrance to the cove. The octo compass is small, so we'll have to look very carefully. Peso, you take that side of the rocks and I'll take the other side. And Quasi... Quasi? <sighs> Come on, Peso. Activate helmets. Just open wide and say, ah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> There's Peso and Shellington. I'll show them a few of their moves. Shark! Quick! Hide, chaps! Oh. No, no, that's not a shark. It's just my friend, Quasi. Oh. oh no! I forgot to close the octo hatch. Dashie, what's going on? Some kind of little fish are swimming into the octopod, Captain, and they're getting inside everything. Tweak. It's not just the toilet. Captain, this isn't good for the fish. Or the ship. Dashy, sound the octopful of. Huh? You want me to sound the octopful? No, Dashy. Sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, we have a very big problem caused by some very small creatures. Lots of tiny fish have swum into the octopod. They're inside all the pipes, hoses and tanks. Basically, anything with water in it. Oh no, they could get hurt. Ah, who are the little fellas anyway? They're Huma Huma Nuka Nuka Apua'a. What? Huma Nuka Kuka Puka Wata Hudabudu? Humu humu nuku nuku apua'a. When something scares them, they quickly hide in small spaces, then stay in there till it's safe to come out again. Who would want to scare these cute little fishies? Um, actually, it was you, Quasi. Me? Yes. The humu humus thought that the gut bee was a shark. That's why they swam into the octopod. Oh, sorry, little fishies. Octonauts, let's split up. We've got to get the Humu Humus out now. No octo alert. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Tunip. Sound the octo alert, vegimal style. That's more like it. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, the octopod has crashed. It seems to have lost all electrical power. I think I found the problem, Cap. See that? 
red means that the octopod's battery is out of electricity. And without electricity, the octopod won't work. Don't worry, Tweak. I'm just worried that by the time it's fixed, it'll be too late to meet up with Sandy. Can't you just go out to meet her in one of the gups? The crash jammed the octa hatch. I can't get it open wide enough to take the gups out. We'd better check to see if the ship is damaged on the outside. Quasi, Peso, activate helmets. Let's go. This is not a good place for the octopod to be. It could fall over the canyon at any minute. We'd better tie it down. That should hold it for a while. Ah, nothing to worry about. The octopods are secure as... Yeah! Huh, what's the big idea, stepping on my tail like that? First this big orange thing drops out of the sky, and now these guys are just walking all over me while I'm resting on the sand. It makes me so mad I could... <laughs> Easy now, we didn't mean to startle you. We were on our way to visit a friend when our ship crashed. Oh, all right. Whew, listen, I'm really sorry about that. I'm usually a pretty friendly, go-with-the-flow kind of guy, but sometimes I just get a little worked up and then... Yeah, yeah, then you zap. But how do you do it? I am a torpedo ray, an electric torpedo ray, but you can call me Ray for short. An electric torpedo ray? That's right. I have a special part inside me that makes electricity, which lets me zap things. The one I gave you was just a little warning zap. Some warning. But I can make big zaps of electricity, too. Hmm, could you show us how you make one of your big zaps? I sure hope this works. I might just get to see Sandy after all. Now, Ray, if you just make one of your nice big zaps, the electricity will go through the wire, recharge the battery, and give power to the octopod. Ready? Ready! All stand clear. Electricity is dangerous. <laughs> oh, uh, must be a little nervous. Let me try that again. Take your time. OK, here I go. Nothing to it. Ah, <sighs> well, it looks like it's just you and me. So, what? Rocco? Where'd he go? Rocco! Quasi! Can I leave? That's what my mum always says. <laughs> <laughs> Let's walk rocks! I want my old rock back. Why? Because it's better. I'm sure the rocks that I gave you were exactly the same. No, my old rock had a brown spot on it and this one doesn't. Let's swap back. No. I'm sure we can work this out. Now flip. Mum, flap! He's flip! Oh, sorry, flap. You mean flip? Yes, floop. I mean fleep. I mean, oh, flappity flippers. <sighs> Flap, if you flip over your rock, you'll see it has a brown spot just like Flap's. I mean, Flip's! You're right! Flappy now. I mean, happy now. Happy! Phew. See that bird up there? Hi, matey. I like to play a little game with him. Watch this. Hey there, you big beaky birdie! You don't scare me! <laughs> See? Now he's coming to get me. Shiver, whiskers. He is coming to get you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that was fun. That was close. Rocco, me hearty. You have to be a little more careful. Even in my pirate days, I knew... Where'd he go? Rocco? Quasi! Cannonball! <laughs> I think Captain <laughs> Barnacles has the easy job today. This water is getting rough. Dash it to Captain Barnacles. There's a storm about to hit and it's big. The iceberg has changed direction. It's heading towards me! Dash it! the Octonauts! Octonauts to the HQ! Way. 
That's dangerous for the Adeli penguin parents. They could get lost at sea. The storm will blow ice and snow onto the shore. Peso and Quasi will need to find a way to keep the chicks warm. Dashi, contact Peso and tell him to get ready for ice and snow. Already on it, Captain. I'll find and rescue the Adeli penguin parents, but I'll need a bigger gup. Tweak, meet me outside the octopod with the gup sea. Got it, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> I'm coming to get you! Getting off this ship. Follow that snake! This must lead to the sea. Oh no, you don't! <laughs> Captain, the snake is escaping through the lab vent. Let me see if I can help. I need to get into the sea. Why are you trying to stop me? We're just trying to help. There's a dangerous whirlpool out there. If you go out now, you'll get sucked right in. Seriously? We're so serious. So, can we bring you back to your eggs until the whirlpool passes? That's not how it usually works, Penguin, but sure. They hatched! That's great! But, um, where are the babies? When baby sea crates hatch, the first thing they do is look for... Water! 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 Captain! Dashi! Come in! The eggs have hatched! Is it safe for the snakes to leave the octopod? It's not safe at all! They'll get sucked right into the whirlpool! Find those baby snakes and keep them on the octopod. Repeat, keep those snakes on the octopod. Five baby sea snakes. How many should there be altogether? Six. Yeah, one of them's missing. Huh? Oh no! Dashie, what's going on down there? One of the snakes reversed the ship. I'll try to change direction. It's no use, we're getting sucked in! Great white shark is one of the most powerful predators in the sea. And one of the hungriest. That's true. He does like to eat. And he'll try just about anything to see if he likes it. If he doesn't, he'll just spit it out. Well, I'm not afraid of any shark. I don't care how great he is. Peso, I can bandage him. Um, Quasi, I'm the medic. It's my job to help any creature who is hurt or sick. No matter what. Shellington, is there a way to safely approach the great white shark? There is one way. Sometimes, when a shark is flipped over on its back, it gets very calm and peaceful. But, he only stays that way for a short amount of time. I could bandage the shark if it were calm and peaceful, but he's swimming away. Oh! 
Oh, oh, oh. Many sharks have to keep moving to stay alive. If they stop moving, they can't breathe. Then we'll need to flip the shark over to calm him down. Keep him moving so he can breathe, and then Peso can bandage him up. Tweak, prepare the Gup X. Great white shark straight ahead. Attention, shark. We are the Octonauts, and we're here to help. Ooh, that looks tasty. If it's all right, I'd like to take a look at your fin. Then I can... As I was saying, I... Oh, I know I should just say thank you for trying to help me. But a shark's got to eat. <laughs> you can't eat the gub eggs. <laughs> He's getting tired. And if he gets too tired, he'll stop moving and he won't be able to breathe. Then we need to act fast. Quasi, can you go out there and distract the shark while I flip him over? My pleasure, Captain. Yow! See him try to eat. You can't take a bite out of that. Plus, I'm a lot tastier. Seriously? Ooh, I'll try anything once. Well, you'll have to catch me first, matey. Woohoo! Oh, my fin hurts. Mm, but I'm still gonna get you. <laughs> Here, shocky, shocky. Follow me this way. Ah, good work, Quasi. And flip. I feel so calm. Do you still want to eat us? Why would I want to eat you? I just want to be a friend. Captain, he's in a trance. Calm as a clam. Time for the next part of the plan. <laughs> that kind of thing. Spotlight. Nothing. Let's take a closer look. Octonauts, let's search the area. I'll head right, Quasi, you head left, and... I'll stay right here with the penguin. The name's Claude, but my friends call me... The Claw! On account of the fact that I like to crack coconuts open with it. But I'm not a coconut. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, you're not very crackable. <laughs> Hello, darling. Look, there's my wife, Claudette, but her friends call her... The Claw! These here are my sons, Clive, Clem and Clarence. But you can call us... The Claws? Uh, uh, yeah, how did you guess? Yeah, how'd you guess? Oh, I want to thank you all for finding this here coconut of ours. It rolled into the ocean days ago, and since we can't swim, we couldn't go after it. Now, if you don't mind, we'll be taking it on home where it belongs. Just drop anchor right there. That's my coconut. Now, hold on, son. This coconut's belonged to us for many years, so it stays with us. Yeah, yeah, it stays with us. But that very same coconut bears the mark of my grandfather, Calico Jack. <gasps> you and Calico Jack are family? Oh, well, uh, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. Thanks. So maybe you'd like to tell me how you ended up with my grandfather's coconut. It was many years ago that Calico Jack washed up on the shores of this here very island. He was shipwrecked and hungry. We nursed him back to health with coconut milk, and in return, he told us rip-roaring tales of the open sea. When we woke, he was gone. No note, no nothing. Just this coconut, which we've been trying to crack open ever since. It's downright embarrassing. I mean, cracking coconuts is what we do. Yeah, it's what we do. Well, we couldn't crack it, and you couldn't crack it. Perhaps if we work together, we can all crack it. Then let's get cracking. You two crack while we pull. One, two, three. Deploy the rescue suction line. Aye, aye, Cap. My babies! Mummy! Uh, 
Coy! Tim! Clarence! Us coconut crabs are landlubbers. Those boys can't swim! Then we need to move fast. Tweak, Quasi, Claude, into the Gup X and bring some coconuts. That's right! Eat my ink! I'm taking you down! Way down! Captain, I'm afraid he's hooked us! Understood. Quasi, to the launch bay. Here's the plan. We'll swim outside and use our own paws to pry those hooks off the ship! It's a pod of sperm whales, and sperm whales love to eat colossal squid. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. If the sperm whales try to eat the colossal squid, then they might take a bite out of the octopod too. Oh, it's every squid for himself. I'm getting out of here. Oh, oh, oh. Stop holding on to me. Let go. You're the one who's hooked onto us. You're right! I'm stuck! I'll never get away from the sperm whales if I can't move fast enough! Captain, the sperm whales are getting closer! Oh, we're doomed! Don't worry, we'll keep you and the octopod safe from the sperm whales. Octonauts, prepare all gups for launch! Thank you all our colossal dinner! Octonauts, let's do this! Yes, Peso, but sperm whales breathe air, so sooner or later they'll have to swim back up to the surface to breathe. <sighs> Can't keep going. Must go up for air. Good work, Octonauts. Yeah, what's that? More whales? It sounds familiar. No, Wolves, Captain. Sounds like a call for help. It is. Then we haven't got a moment to lose. Quasi, Peso, to the launch bay. <laughs> it's coming from inside that ice tunnel. <laughs> Whiskers, Captain. Look, there's been an avalanche. They must be somewhere behind all that ice. Ahoy in there! No walls! Are you all right? Help us, please! We are trapped in here! We can't get out! <gasps> I know that voice. Boris? Ah, Barnacles, is this you? Yes, old friend. What happened? Me and my two friends, we dove down very, very deep. Everything was good, yes, until the pack ice moved and trapped us in here. The ice, it is too thick for an narwhal to punch through. <laughs> and we are almost out of air. Then we need to get you out of there now. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> Three narwhals are trapped under the ice and they're running out of air. Jumping, 
jellyfish. Narwhals are whales, and whales breathe air. They can only stay underwater for a little while, and then they need to come up to breathe again. We've got to get them out of the ice, but first, let's get them some air. We'll run a breathing tube down there right away, Cap. Octonaut, let's do this. <laughs> a small opening for the breathing tube. Here you go. We're pushing in a breathing tube, Boris. It won't be long now. Da, please hurry, old friend. We are feeling very weak. Ah, it's caught on something. Ah, ah. Yes, that did it. Ah, ah. There it is. <gasps> Ah, uh, thank you. Much better. Now that you've got air to breathe, it's time to break through that ice. Dashi, let's try the Gupsy's icebreaker. Icebreaker activated. Yeah, what's that? More whales? It sounds familiar. No walls, Captain. Sounds like a call for help. It is. Then we haven't got a moment to lose. Quasi, peso, to the launch bay. <laughs> it's coming from inside that ice tunnel. <laughs> Whiskers, Captain. Look, there's been an avalanche. They must be somewhere behind all that ice. Ahoy in there! No walls! Are you all right? Help us, please! We are trapped in here! We can't get out! <gasps> I know that voice. Boris? Da! Barnacles, is this you? Yes, old friend. What happened? Me and my two friends, we dove down very, very deep. Everything was good, yes? Until the pack ice moved and trapped us in here. The ice, it is too thick for a narwhal to punch through. <laughs> and we are almost out of air. Then we need to get you out of there now. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> Three narwhals are trapped under the ice, and they're running out of air. Jumping jellyfish! Narwhals are whales, and whales breathe air. They can only stay underwater for a little while, and then they need to come up to breathe again. We've got to get them out of the ice, but first, let's get them some air. We'll run a breathing tube down there right away, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> a small opening for the breathing tube. Here you go. We're pushing in a breathing tube, Boris. It won't be long now. Da, please hurry, old friend. We are feeling very weak. Ah, it's caught on something. Ah, ah. Yes, that did it. Ah, ah. Oh, there it is. <gasps> Ah, uh, thank you. Much better. Now that you've got air to breathe, it's time to break through that ice. Dashi, let's try the Gupsy's icebreaker. Icebreaker activated. Um, we're the Octonauts, and we've discovered some trouble on this coral reef. <laughs> There's no trouble for us damselfish. We're sitting pretty with more algae than we can eat. Ain't that right, boys? Right, right boss. boss. That is the trouble. Too much algae makes the coral reef sick. But you can save the coral reef if you'll just let some of the other fish eat some of the algae too. 
Forget about it. This is my algae farm, and I don't ever leave it. Now scram! Whoa, easy quasi. We'll scram. If the boss never leaves his algae farm, then he has no idea that the coral reef is sick. We need to get the boss off his farm. Why? But how? We're going to take his algae. Take his algae? algae. I'll explain. Octonauts and algae eaters to the HQ. <laughs> Octonauts, our mission is to save the coral reef. But first, we have to show the damselfish that the coral reef is sick. Here's the plan. We steal some algae from the damselfish and use it as bait to lead them to the sick coral. So the damselfish will see for themselves that the coral reef is in trouble. This algae is heavily guarded by the damselfish. Yes, and each damselfish has his own personal patch of algae. If we take some algae from the boss's personal patch, he's sure to chase after us. Aye, but look at all those patches. How do we know which one is his? Already on it, Quasi. Dashie and I have been working on the damselfish cam. It's a camera that looks just like a damselfish. I'll use it to slip past the guards and find the boss's algae patch. And of course, this camera has damselfish vision. The boss has one big spot on his head. Come on, show yourself. There he is, and there's his patch of algae. The boss is surrounded by all those damselfish. How do we get past them? Ah, that's where Pete, Sammy and Robert come in. Now, each of you has a special skill you can use to distract the damselfish. Squatting sand. Uh. Oh, I'm thinking. Give me a minute. Uh, is it my spikes? Yes, Sammy. It's your spikes. While you keep all the other damselfish busy, Peso drops Quasi into the boss's algae patch. Then I take the algae and we lead the boss to the sick patches of coral. All right, everybody. Operation Algae Lift begins now. Sammy, you're on. Hey, I got it. Yes, thank you so much. Well, that was easy. Any others around? There's one! That manta ray is eating everything in sight. Activating booster pack. Easy peso. Keepers down. Lead with the beak. Got it! Sorry, Manta Ray. You'll have to snack on something else. That's not very nice. Let's get you back to your dad. You found an egg, Tunip. Let's see. Oh, Tunip, that's a pebble. Keep trying. Here you go. Three eggs, safe and sound. I think he said that's Joseph, Josephine and Judith. <laughs> Captain, three eggs have been returned safely to the jawfish's mouth. Well done. Thanks, Shellington. One, two, three, seven more to go. Captain, I've reached the geezers. Whoa! Yes, you are. Special egg delivery. Say, ah. Uh. Tunip, 
Did you find one this time? <gasps> no, that's a seashell. <coughs> Captain, we found three more eggs. And I found two. That's eight altogether. I'll keep searching for the other two, but the current has loosened up the rocks. Whoa! So it might get tricky. Hey. Oh, slow. Really? Oh! Bingo! Time to take you home. Three more eggs, safe and sound. Oh, and how? Nine down. Still one to go. It's Jimmy Junior, named after his father. A brave little egg with a sense of adventure. He's out there somewhere. Fish pack. Here it comes, Quasi. That's Booster, or we'll lose them. That nervous puffer's gonna poke the whale shark's mouth. No! I meant hello! <laughs> it's Uncle Quasi here to help you get all comfy and cozy. You got plenty of water to splash around in, right? There's nothing to worry about. We're having a really fun time here. We are? Yeah, because Uncle Quasi's gonna do a funny dance for you. It's called a Try to Open the Jaws <laughs> with all your might. Search for kills for a way out. Dash back to the jaws to try again, but slip and slide on this slippery time. <laughs> this is fun. Now what? Now it's story time. Ah. Uh, once upon a time, Uncle Quasi and a cute little pufferfish were waiting to be rescued by Uncle Barnacles and Uncle Peso, <laughs> who were taking forever. It's time for Plan B. When the whale shark opens his mouth, I'll swim in, put Puffy in the pack, and give you the signal. Cool. Then I'll throw the rope and pull everyone out. Ready? Ready, Captain. Three, two, one, jump! Yeah. You can do it, Peso. Look, it's Uncle Peso. Stay calm, Puffy. We're just going to work through. Captain, use your polar bear strength. I'm trying, but he's using his whale shark sucking strength. If we go through that sponge wall, we'll end up in the stomach. Grab onto the gills. Shark's about to open up for lunch. Now's our chance. <laughs> Uncle Quasi's getting you out of here. <laughs> Ouch! Yow! Captain, a rope. <laughs> we never had a chance for a proper hello. We are the Octonauts. I hope you're not still scared. Probably. Scaredy Simon is scared of everything. <laughs> <laughs> Will you dive down with us this time, Simon? Oh, no! Oh. oh, they're right. I'm scared of everything. Especially diving. What's so important about diving? All sperm whales dive deep down in the ocean to find food. Except him. <laughs> oh, I'll never learn to dive. I keep thinking, I can do it. But I can't. It's too deep. Ah, oh, it's deep. And dark. And scary. But that's what makes it an adventure, me hottie. Ooh. 
Did I say something wrong? You know, I happen to know someone who's a champion diver. You do? Who? Peso. Penguins have to learn to dive too. But when I was little, I was scared to dive, just like you. Oh, you really think you could teach me? I don't see why not, unless you still think I'm an orca. <laughs> no. This shouldn't take long, Captain. <laughs> Quasi and I'll head back to the octopod. Radio us when you need a lift home. Good luck, matey. Simon, I've just remembered something. When I was learning to dive, there was a little trick that helped me not be afraid. Oh, what was it? Right before the dive, I would take a deep breath and then close my eyes tight. <sighs> Creature, over and out. It's my duty to help no matter what. There's no such thing as sea ghosts. Hello? Is there anybody in here? Quasi, is that you? Oh, phew! You're not a sea ghost. You're an anglerfish. Thank goodness someone heard me. I've got this pain in my lantern. Can you help? That's what I'm here for. Hmm. Looks like you've twisted this. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? <laughs> there's, there's... Ah. there's nothing to worry about. This won't hurt. <laughs> now to get you a sticker. <laughs> Thank you. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Flappity flippers! Hey, son! Oh, you don't want to go in there, boy! I'm coming for you, matey! Hey, so! Hey, oh. hey, medical bag! He would never leave this lying about! And there's that noise again! Captain, I found Peso's bag, but Peso's nowhere to be seen! Well, according to the radar, he should be nearby. Yeah! That's it, Quasi. Keep going. Quasi, there's something else aboard the shipwreck. Whatever it is, it's heading straight for you. Heck. I don't see anything. It's getting closer. Closer? Quasi, it's standing right next to you. I don't see anything. Behind! In front! Just in front! Captain! Captain! I, I can't hear you! Come in, Quasi! Captain, we've lost all radio contact. 
I know you hear some What? Who's there? Show yourself! Wow! <laughs> Got you this time! <laughs> Yo! A sea ghost! <laughs> Those must be the Fiddler Crab's tunnels. And there's the octoscope, buried in the sand. We'll have to dig it out by hand, so we don't disturb their homes. If we start digging right there, and we're very careful to avoid this tunnel... Uh, hey, giant crab! I saw you with your claw. I accept your challenge. <laughs> <coughs> I said, I accept your challenge! Huh? You think you can ignore me, you yellow-bellied crab pig? Ah! <laughs> Take that! Take that! Take that! Ha! Chop! 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 <coughs> oh, and now you try to eat me! Oh, you sorry excuse for a crab! Ah! <coughs> Whiskers! It's the fiddler crabs! And somehow they're being chased by the Cup Z! We have to stop it before they get hurt! Ouch! The claw! I'm a medic. I help. <laughs> We've got to catch up with... Ow! Calm down, you scurvy... Ow! Time to sound the Octo Alert! Octo Alert to the Out Queue! Octo Alert, we've cleaned up the beach and found the Fiddler Crabs. Hello. Oh, but we have a big problem. The Gup D is out of control. It's tunneling under the sand. Dashi, can you track it? Looks like the Gup D's moving fast. The Fiddler Crab's tunnels, they'll be destroyed. Then we need to stop it fast. But ouch, these Fiddler Crabs aren't making things easy for us. Fiddler Crabs like to keep their homes to themselves. They wave their claws and snap at strangers who get too close. Unless they let us help them, they won't have any homes at all. Huh, I will never find her. Shiver me, whiskers. One of those crabs is inside the Gup D. Give us back our leader, giant crab. That's not a giant crab. That's our Gup. Oh, whatever it is, it ate our leader. <laughs> Fiddler crabs, we are the Octonauts. We need to work together to stop our Gup and save your leader. If we don't, your homes will be destroyed. Oh. We will let you help us. No more snapping. And you may tend to my claw. Stop that gob! Let's go, Captain! Everyone hang on! Then we'd better sail this ship to safety! Grab a rope, Dashi! Who left, Captain? <laughs> Dashi! All right! <laughs> Just a little bit further, Jack! <laughs> Who knew you'd make such a good sail, Muriel? I think we finally found something you're good at. Huh. Is everyone okay? We're fine, Captain, but where are we? That storm pulled us pretty far out to sea. There's nothing around for miles. Oh no, we're lost. <gasps> now we'll never find the secret feeding ground. Uh, Muriel, what's that you're eating? Oh, just some krill. It's what we mantas eat. 
there'll be tons of krill at the big feast. Something's pulling the krill away. It could be a clue. Everyone, follow those krill. We'll have to come back for the cup A later. <laughs> They're being sucked into that current. Of course. A current is like a river of fast-moving water in the ocean. Follow the great big swirling thing, then ride the river to the secret ring. This must be it. What are we waiting for? Let's go. <laughs> Look, more krill! We must be getting close. Aye, we are getting close to that giant green! Lapity flippers! The current's too strong to swim out of! We're going to crash! Two crashes in one day. That's a new record, Muriel. There's something on the other side. Everyone, sideways formation! <laughs> Whiskers, a hidden lagoon. The reef makes a ring all around it. Follow the river to the secret ring. That means this must be it. The secret manta ray feeding ground. But I don't see any manta rays. The big feast must be over. Or maybe it's just beginning. It's like a manta ray world. That's how we man to raise each when we all get together. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Got it, Cap. <sighs> Quasi to octopod. Come in, me hearties. Ah, me radio's broken, but I've still got a pirate king sword to find. Okay now, where's that X that marks the spot? <gasps> that warm water again. Yow! A flying sword. Yow! <laughs> no telling where more of these magical flying swords might be lurking. <laughs> here I am! Oh, over here! No! Down here, matey! Arr, two down, one to go! There he is, Captain. Hang on, Peso. This could get a bit rocky. Something tells me that the X that marks the spot is right behind this... Ow! Aha! The last one! Stand aside, ya scurvy sword! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Magic ye may be, but quick enough to catch this pirate? Never! Captain, I've lost sight of him. Looks like he's inside the kelp forest. Quasi! <gasps> Look! Quasi! It's not Quasi. We've been chasing a figurehead. One that could only have come off a pirate ship. But then, where's Quasi? Ha-ha! <laughs> Outran him! <laughs> so, it's a duel you're wanting, is it? Then it's a duel ye shall have! Yuck! <laughs> Swordfish! <laughs> of course I'm a swordfish! What did you think I was? A, a magic flying sword? <laughs> the only flying me and my fellow fish do is when we leap out of the ocean! So that was you! The light of the pirate moon made it look like it! Do I care what it looked like? No! What I do care about is uh, this is our feeding ground, and we want you gone! Ha! I don't want your food, matey! I want the sword of the Pirate King! And if you think I'm leaving without it, you don't know much about pirates! 
We're on our way. Quasi, peso, to the guts. <laughs> to find all the octofloats, we'll have to split up. Aye, and it looks like we have some company. Then there's not a moment to lose. up the ocean, do ya? Oh, I've made a home out of all kinds of rubbish before now. Whatever keeps me safe from the birds up above and the big fish below. When I find a home this good, I don't give it up easily. <coughs> They're fast. There's no time to argue, Trixie. You better dive down deeper where it's safe. I'm staying right here. No water spout's gonna scare me out of my own. Alright, you don't have to leave your home, but I've got to move it to safety. Follow me, Trixie! Yeah. Ah. 